Okay, welcome back to the channel. On this video, we are going to test the speedometer on the bike to see how accurate it is. I'm trying to bring up my speedometer on here. Okay. I don't know what's going on with it, but let me click that. Location, okay. Permissions. Of course now, something to do with permissions here. What did I do? <laughs> no permission allowed. Okay, notifications. Let me just click the allow all the time. And let me try to bring it up one more time and then we should be able to get going here. I don't know what that keeps popping up for, but let's try this again. Okay. Wants me to read the app and okay, so let me crank this all the way up here. Okay, so we're just gonna go and measure these up. We're kinda gonna I don't know if you can see these side by side, but Pretty accurate within one mile per hour or so. Yeah, I, it's pretty accurate. And people are saying about the it not being accurate. It might be off a little bit by about less than one. That's pretty accurate. It might be one off by one. Or a little less than one. You need two hands to get around that corner. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's off by maybe less than one. I don't have a phone mount on here. I probably should have one. I want to get one. There's a particular one I want to get, so I probably should buy it. It's a more expensive one, but a good one. All right, well, so the, ac the accuracy of the speedometer is pretty good. It's actually not bad. It's less than one. So maybe if I change the wheel size to 22, that'll make it accurate, or it'll make it a little bit off the other way being too low. If it's less than one mile per hour, I'm okay with that. So I can always take one mile per hour off. You know, it's not a big, that's not very much. A discrepancy to me would be if it was three or more miles an hour, that's a fair amount, right? But one mile per hour, if you're going 30 miles an hour and it's 29, that's okay. I don't even know if it's a complete one mile per hour. It's, it's a fraction of one, so pretty simple. And if you saw that going by, that guy, I've seen him before. He's got electric. I'm not sure which model that is. It might be the 3.0. And he's pulling his golf cart. He's pulling his clubs up to the, to the golf course there to play. Kind of a neat way to get up there. So I did mess a little bit with the pedal assist.
but uh, as I've stated before, it's pretty hard to pedal uh, this bike without ghost pedaling it. You can't, look at how fast I have to pedal if you can see my legs here. I have to really pedal to get like at 12 miles an hour and I'm almost ghost pedaling. Like it's hard to keep up with it even at that. So I got to remember now, from now on, I changed the setting on here so it's not using all the assist number one, two, and three are strictly pedal only. So it's not, if you hit the throttle, you're not going to go anywhere. So it's got to be at least to uh, assist level four. I usually put it to, most times I usually ride with it on number five anyway. So and if I want to go fast, the fastest, like at high speed, then you can go all the way up to nine. Beautiful day out here. It's going to be warm later on. I'm uh, riding right now at about 11:30 in the morning. It's almost noon. It's supposed to go up in the high 90s today, so we're going to get close to 100, but not quite to 100 today. But So I, when I was setting the bike up, messing a little bit with the pedal assist uh, settings and stuff, I saw where it keeps track of your average speed that you do, and I think mine was 14 point something miles an hour, and the maximum speed was 44.8 or some, almost 45 miles an hour. I don't remember it hitting that much, but it might have been on a downhill somewhere and I just wasn't looking down at the time. So even if I take a couple of miles per hour off that or one point something miles per hour off that, that would still be about 44 or 43 miles an hour. So that's pretty quick. Even if it is on the downhill, that's pretty fast. For a bicycle, you know, like an e-bike, you don't want to be going 70 or 80 miles an hour on these frames. I, I wouldn't anyway. I'd be more apt to go faster though, like I, I would feel more comfortable as I do riding with the fat tires at faster speeds than I would with a, the old 10 speeds, you know, with the very super thin narrow tires that are like one inch maybe i'm exaggerating they might be a little more than one inch but they're not very much anyway So this bike is not really, if you're looking for a bike to pedal, this wouldn't be it. Mind you, I'm on the 2022 graffiti. I'm not sure if the new 2023 might be better for pedaling. But I'll say one thing, if you need to pedal this bike to get home, you can do it. It's not an overly heavy bike, you can pedal it. So there is that, but I wouldn't want to do it for very long. 
because it's like it's in a a low gear where you're pedaling you know like where you would turn it down to go up a hill well that's what kind of a gear it's in so you are going to pedal like crazy to get 10 miles an hour kind of thing so that's why it's easy to pedal in that way but you're just not going to get you're just not going to get far fast but the average speed that a traditional biker goes is 12 miles an hour so maybe you can keep up with the traditional bikers but let's face it we all have the electric bike because of the extra assisted power that's the whole purpose of the bike otherwise you could just stick with a traditional bike I think I'm going to go ahead and change the pedal assist here. Play with it a little bit here. Let's see. I want, I'm going to turn this to zero so I don't accidentally go anywhere. Okay, so we want e-bike, we want assist levels, and we want to uh, nine. You can change that nine to five. Let's try that. Four, I'm just going to leave all these. Five. Wait, let's put... Let's put it back to... Nine, okay, there goes nine. Okay, let's just leave it at that. I don't want to play with it anymore. Whoops. Okay, let's go with that. Whoops. Back. Okay, then we want to go back here, back. We want to exit. Okay. Okay, so we don't go on one, two, or three, and we go on four. Okay. There we go. Let's let that guy go. Oh. 
my tread in the off or on road. This is actually the on road mode, and I'm. It goes pretty good for on road once you get going. It's not the greatest fastest for taking off, but here I am in on road mode, which is the legal mode, and I'm on pedal assist nine, the highest level. And as you can see, eventually it takes a little bit, but you can get up a little bit of a slight little downhill, not much there, a little bit though. And you can see that I can go uh, 26 miles an hour. And that's the legal mode. So if you wanted to save a little bit on your battery, you could ride around in that one. Let's just try it a little bit more here. Legal mode. As long as you're not going up a hill, it takes off fairly quickly. I mean, it's not going to knock you off the bike or anything, but that's fine. Especially when you're on the flat, you know, you don't need the extra power or anything. You can see it takes off fairly well. It's but I am in assist level nine, the highest one, so I'm getting the most, the maximum you can get, which is, this is supposed to be street mode, but it actually goes a little faster. It's almost class three, this bike, as opposed to class two in the legal mode. I was gonna go that way, but there's a Kubota there loading a truck up, so I'm gonna go this way. I think where you're going to notice it slowing down, I'm going to test it right now a little bit, is on this bit of a hill going up here. So let's see what it does. I'm on full throttle. See, it's a little bit more sluggish at getting up to speed because we're going up a little bit of a hill, but it's doing it. This would certainly save on your battery. I'm going to try something else here. What about... pedal assisting in this one? So there's four, because I have to have at least at four, because I have basically the other one shut off, so... Or you can pedal assist, but you're just pedaling too fast to keep up to it. And that's going just 13, 14 miles an hour. You can ghost pedal. Golf cart crossing, golf cart crossing. You can just ghost pedal to keep you going here. On assist level four, this is on on road. Now I'm going down a hill, so I don't need to pedal at all. There's a foul odor somewhere. I think it was on that pickup truck. A foul odor. Man, a Thunderbird. Nice car right there. All right, I'm gonna switch back to I'm gonna throttle it in the four, number four. Let's see what it does here. So I'm going down a little bit of a hill and full throttle. Yeah, that'll get you up there too. So this bike, even in the street legal mode, definitely is capable of going over 20 miles an hour. And it just takes a little bit to get up to speed. Once it gets going though, it'll go. Here I am right now in assist level four, full throttle, a little bit of a downhill. Twenty-three miles an hour. So if you're just riding around in residential neighborhood like this, you could just get away with just riding them with the street mode. 
It's when you're out on those little bit faster roads that you want to keep up with traffic that you need to go faster or just getting through intersections and all or hills you want to be on the off-road. Alright, let's see what happens. Let me put it back in nine. In between here and the stop sign, let's go, see what we can get it up to. A little bit of an uphill here and it's gonna drop a little bit. Yeah, there's not gonna be enough room to get it up to full speed, but definitely goes 25, 26 miles an hour. So just about class three when you have it on assist level nine. A slight downhill right here, not a lot, but a little bit. And this will get it up to speed pretty quick. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.